G'day guys, and welcome to episode 5, this time featuring the AK-47 from Modern Warfare, which as you should know slaps up and down the garden path, but is a bit of recoil to boot. Starting off the build is the Romanian barrel, it's the longest barrel in its class and also features in a built-in foregrip, so damage, range, recoil control, it has it all. And of course to balance out that hefty barrel and run in the tack laser for the ADS speed increase, as well as the stippled grip tape to give an extra boost to ADS speed as well, you can swap that for a mag if you really want. And the side I'm running is a corp hollow sight combined with the blue dot reticle, which is incredibly clean and if you struggle with recoil control you can always swap it for a VLK. And lastly of course is the monolithic suppressor for the velocity buff and the sound suppression. There's the build, the class is still the same except I'm using EOD now instead of double time. As always, let's kick it off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Verdansk 1984. First up guys, I apologize for any random flickering during the video. I didn't realize until when I was editing that I actually recorded on the wrong capture on OBS. So I'm sorry, I tried to remove as much as possible. But anyway, with that done, I dropped in the port and within two minutes without any contracts, I had 10K and a loadout. I love this place. I catch this guy sneaking up on me with his loud footsteps and I trade a few shots. I accidentally forget I don't have some grenades that I unscoped there, but I very quickly finish him off. After two more quick kills, I shift in the Tokyo Drift, and I go terrorize this poor guy. With nothing more really happening in Promenade, I head to Boneyard and get a UAV in the sky, assess my surroundings and see what's kinda going on, go find a bounty, and I go back to cut this guy off as he comes into the zone. Instead, I don't spot him down here, so I go up into the helipad, take a quick jump over onto the roof, and I begin my search. As the bounty circle moves over on the minimap, I adjust where I'm looking, and eventually I spot him as he runs across the road. Now, the biggest thing with the AK is that the first three shots have a huge jump between them, and then it levels out. So, making those shots is a bit difficult. Lucky for me, he jumps into my car that I abandoned earlier, and I take him out for a few shots, put him on the ground, and I put him out of his misery. As the circle starts moving in, I work up the left hand side of the map and I find my way over in storage. I find the berth on the way, and I decide that with how the circle's playing out, I'm gonna go take the roof of the airport. Up on the roof, I spot this guy going for the buy station, and I put him down after missing quite a number of shots. But I make a bit of a mistake here. I sacrifice my position on the roof to kill this guy when I could have just used a precision airstrike in my inventory. Yeah, I had money to burn on an advanced UAV, but as I tried to hold this guy off on the edge of the circle, a guy snuck up and cost me my life. The only bright side is that I was at the cutoff point for the gulag, so I respawn immediately. Now I have to play the comeback game and weigh up my decisions as my body probably isn't safe to land on. But as I'm thinking that, my loadout drops, and I make a hasty decision to land on it before anyone comes for it. Before the circle closes, I move to the right and I search the buildings for supplies, not only finding an armor box, but also an ammunition as well. Now we're back in the game. I spot this burfer parked all nice and cozy on the side, and I take a wide run across the runway, using third person, just to keep an eye out for anyone. As I near up this rock over here, I spot a burfer at the side of the map that changes color, so guys getting in and now. I use third person to make sure I'm okay, and I get out and armor up. I don't have any intention on challenging this guy, so instead, I pull up over on the other side of the circle by firehouse, and I start laying bullets into the burfer. The last thing I want is I'm untouched, and a guy calls on a cluster on me, of course. So I take refuge inside the building, I check my back, and I move up and take position by the staircase here. And as per usual, I go back to laying more bullets into the burfer because I want him as weak as possible in the end game. As the jeep starts wheeling across the zone though, I instead swap over and I start to prioritize him. He doesn't have anywhere to go at the point because he's right on the edge of the gas. So I just lay into his vehicle and I blow him up with it. Looking back to the burfer, I hear footsteps to my left and I hit a few shots on a guy sneaking up. As he runs off, I pre-fire the corner and I teach that pole a nasty lesson. I try to make a bit of a jump shot over the wall, but I can't ADS in time, so instead I back off and I wait for him to peek instead, which eventually he happily obliges by. At this point, the gas is pushing, so he has to make a run around the wall, so while he does that, I make a move out a little wider to avoid him here in my footsteps and I catch him in the open. I put him down promptly and I swap to the deagle for that awesome execution. 
Now, Mr. Bertha is the only one alive at this point, so he tosses a stun grenade in my direction, which misses, which also means he might have one left. I put some more bullets back into him as per usual and toss out some double thermites, so his truck is well on its way to becoming scrap metal. Now, I hear that stun grenade and I run to the gas, I go prone and just wait for it to wear off enough so I can pick him off. He is not expecting it at all. And with that, the game is over and I have another win. That's five guns down, but there are still so many more to go. As always guys, thank you so very much for watching. Sorry about the wait for this one, had some personal issues taking up some space, but it's all good now. And as always, if you enjoyed, like the video, sub if you really like it, and until next time guys, take care, and I will see you in the next one.